football has never seen a stadium on this scale before. This is the centerpiece of the $1.5 trillion Neon Mega Project, 350 meters above the ground in the desert. Imagine a traditional city and consolidating its footprint. No limits on ambition or spending to bring the World Cup to Saudi Arabia in 2034. And no need to win a bidding contest. 80% of our people follow football and they love football. So this is an investment that's going into growing the game for Saudi Arabia for a game they love. It's a fantastic occasion that we can serve a FIFA World Cup, but ultimately this is serving our football need number one. Confirmation will come tomorrow at a virtual FIFA Congress. FIFA's president Gianni Infantino here in a Saudi promotional video, accused of rolling back on reforms, engineering a process to deliver the kingdom its biggest sporting prize. Football is not about sports. It's about money, power, influence. This is really the big sham that we're seeing, uh, but frankly, they don't care. They're clearly going against their own rules, and uh, to make sure that nobody contests them, they manipulate the process. But this is everything the Saudis have been working towards. Convincing Cristiano Ronaldo, Karim Benzema and Neymar to join their league. Showing they're a very different proposition to Qatar, with a longer established football fan culture. As the boss of Saudi's most successful team explained to me. If we look back and talk about the Qatar World Cup, even with so much criticism, I think there's general consensus that it was ultimately a very successful World Cup, right? In our case, I'm sure it's going to be the same. And again, with a proper size country with passionate uh, fans. Al Hilal will move into one of the 15 stadiums being built ahead of the World Cup. Vast infrastructure projects requiring a vast migrant workforce, already estimated to exceed 13 million. FIFA's inspection report did express concerns about indecent working conditions and found gaps complying with international standards that contradict Islamic law. There are assurances fans will face no discrimination, but anti-LGBTQ plus laws remain. And while FIFA hopes the World Cup is a catalyst for change, there are limits to how much Saudi Arabia can change or needs to change for FIFA. Rob Harris, Sky News.